Good afternoon, I'm Cynthia and I'm here with Doug from Wall Street Media and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you cannot find anywhere else. And today we have Needham. We love Needham. We love Needham. They picked a lot of great stocks. Everything was in the green yesterday. We got Jack Lay, CFO or Lie, however you want to say it. You say Lay, I say Lie. Uh, CFO of LDK, Solar Company LTD, or uh, LTD. D, uh, LDK ticker explained that they manufacture multi-crystalline solar wafers. Making me hungry. This crystalline you, you and, and the wafers. hungry. We're gonna get, we're getting you some food. I know. Now I'm gonna get some. To the manufacturers of solar cells and solar modules in China and internationally, they also provide uh, they also provide uh, wafer processing services to monocrystalline and multi-crystalline solar cell and module manufacturers. Charlie Murphy, EVP and CFO of Pros Holding Incorporated, PRO, uh, PRO ticker, spoke about the company's position as a world leader in the pricing science. Pricing science? Hmm. They will grow through technology uh, leadership in product innovations and extend pricing leadership through science innovations, selling products and penetrating their virtual markets. Thomas M. Uh, Zarella, uh, CEO of GT Solar International Incorporated, SOLR ticker, explained that an expected increase in polysilicon supply will drive sector growth because solar industry growth is limited by polysilicon shortage. Uh, Richard Hill, chairman and CEO of Novelist Systems Incorporated, NVLS, predicted that 2009 will be a year for semiconductor and memory industry due to the global economy and fall of demand. However, the economic situation pushes companies like Novellus to improve its quality to increase its value to customers. J. Daniel McCrane, uh, executive, I like that name, J. Daniel McCrane, Mrs. J. Daniel McCrane. Hmm. Executive Chairman of the Board of uh, Virage Logic Corporation, VIRL, ticker, described the company's position as the leading developer of the building block IP elements used in today's semiconductor products. Trends are favorable, such as the development in architectural firmware system on a chip development, allowing for the use of standard IP building blocks. Yeah, I liked his presentation quite a bit. Um, well, with a name like that, why can't you? Yep. Um, now, they had, there, was a, there was an odd thing where they were trying to buy another company out there, uh, for 25% more than they were, like currently trading at, which is like an incredible premium mm -hmm. in this kind of a market. Right. And the other company said that, that they didn't want to be sold to them. And I thought, isn't that, isn't that special? Hmm. Anyway, moving on. For Steve. a 25% pop in this kind of an environment? Look, you know, you missed the boat. I, I Don't thought come crying later. We're in the right there. Absolutely. Steve Daly, CEO and chairman of. Hittite uh, Microwave Corporation, HITT, talked about their recent expansion to new markets such as fiber optic transmission systems, which enables them to design at high speed frequency levels. They plan on to focus on complex applications across the frequency spectrum. Patrick Harshman, CEO and president of Harmonic Incorporated, HLIT, ticker, talked about their growth strategy to continue to diversify their worldwide customer base and expand cable, satellite, and telco IPTV. Harmonic acquired Scorp uh, Scopus, hoping to greater expand internationally. Two-thirds of Scopus customers are outside the U.S. Morteza um, Ejabot, CEO of Zone uh, Technologies, ZHNE, ticker, said that they are feeling confident moving toward moving forward in 2009 because they have a diverse customer base and provide the best quality single line multi-service software which will allow them to introduce their products to the market faster than their competitors. They will continue to focus on the growing voice, PTU, broadband, and MSAP markets. Kent Snyder, CEO, and John Paul uh, Poihoner, CFO of Senomix uh, Incorporated, SNMX ticker, shared many projects that are moving forward into 2009, including a new reformulation of their savory enhancing, uh, savory enhancing products to enter the Pacific Rim, Central West Africa, and Latin America, while they are also waiting for approval in the EU. They have identified new sucrose and sodium chloride enhancers, which will open new collaborations and licensing. Bill Walker, CFO of HI slash FN Incorporated, um, Hi, hi, fun. How do, how do you say it? Oh, look, their their ticker spells out hyphen. Yeah, I see. It's cute. Uh, HIFN ticker announced that they have gained some market leading customers, <clears throat> Microsoft and Intel, where they see growth potential. They have also retooled and strengthened their engineering, marketing, and sales teams, and have introduced eleven new products. Their growth drivers will be in the network and storage markets. Roy Jewell, president and COO of Magma Design uh, Automation Incorporated. Oh, how cute. Lava is their ticker. L-A-V-A. You know, like magma yeah, lava? Yeah, I know. Molten know. lava? Yes. Is magma? Yes. 
discussed uh, major customer adopters such as Talus as an implementation platform for nanometer ICs, fine sim for circuit simulation, Quartz DRC slash LVS for faster physical verification, and Titan as their entry into analog and mixed signal. Randall S. Batat, CEO and president of Airvana Incorporated, AIRV ticker, talks about the hubbub femtocells, uh, a cell cellular base station typically designed for use in residential or small businesses. He said they expect it to improve customer coverage, create a superior broadband experience, and offer low-cost low, low cost service. Commercial deployment becomes available later in the year. Hanif I. Jamal, CFO of Dot Hill Systems Corp., H-I-L-L -L ticker. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like these yeah. guys. Now, you know what I, I looked at them? And he says this in the presentation. Mm -hmm. um, their last trade is at 90 cents a share, and they have a dollar twenty-two in cash a share. Wow. So they're trading below cash. Very good. Spoke about their successes in the business of storage solutions for OEMs. Canal on StockTwits, he'll love that one. I, I put it up there for him right before we did the show. Every time we say Canal, I, I just picture Canal Street real quick. <laughs> he explained that focusing on data management and rate technology, as well as the recent acquisition of Simprico had led to a, S, um, a strong uh, third quarter and fourth quarter in 2008. John F., I was like trying to figure that out. I was like, I'm chicken. Yeah, that was pretty good. John F. Prim, CEO of Jack Henry and Associates Incorporated, JKHY ticker, talked about their well positioned core accounting systems business for banks and credit unions. They predicted mid to upper, mid single digit in revenue growth for the near future and discussed the current trend of financial institutions moving from in house delivery to source delivery. Douglas Newgold, uh, CEO, and Tim Carlson. Gold is worth a lot of money these days, huh? The ounce has really gone up. I think it's over $1,000 an ounce, right? Ari Gold. Ari Gold. Uh, Tim Carlson, CFO of ATMI Incorporated, ATMI, mapped out their pipeline for new product development and explained that their focus is on research because they are planning to open up new market segments moving into the dry domain and invest more in sciences. They are looking into opening a new laboratory in Kawara in 2009 or 2010 for further goals. I'm assuming that's Korea. <laughs> is it? I, you know what? And you know what's the funniest thing is that I saw Kawara and I was like, I, is that in Hawaii? Wow, I've been there. That's such a nice island. I was there. <laughs> for the <laughs> such and such shoot. Do you know, is that I saw it and I thought... I should have told you Mike and I were there last week. I thought, I don't know where that is, but <laughs> They're it sounds like They're something They're going to have a new Hawaii. lab. Okay. Okay. Well... That's the crack, a new laboratory that's the crack in Korea in 2009 or 2010 for For the Goals. Oh. That's silly. I really Stop thought twitch. it was Stop a... Twitch. I really Stop thought twitch. it was a Hawaiian Stop island. Twitch. Met Howard. Met Phil. I was chatting with Canal this morning. Doug, you're here too. You can just say it. You have to tell me. You don't have to give me things to say. Just say it. Tell him. It's better if you say it. Just tell him. It's better if you say it. I'm shy. Okay. That's why you're on this show. <laughs> yes. Um, that would be stocktwits.com. Check it out. It'll impress your peers. We're here every day. Wall Street Media, WSMCO.com. Thanks for joining us. Have a great afternoon. Say goodbye, Doug. Goodbye.